Holography, the idea that information is sort of encoded on a boundary, uh, really came into its own was with Juan Maldacena in the 1990s uh, and the ADS CFD correspondence, which we don't have to get into that into any detail, but it's a whole full blown theory of it's two different theories. One theory in n dimensions of space time without gravity and another theory in n plus one dimensions of space time with gravity and the idea is that this n dimensional theory is you know casting a hologram into the n plus one dimensional universe to make it look like it has gravity and that's holography with a vengeance and that's the, that's an enormous source of interest for theoretical physicists these days how should we picture what impact that has, uh, the fact that you can store all the information, you can think of as all the information that goes into a black hole can be stored at the event horizon. Yeah, I mean, it's a good question. Um, one of the things that quantum field theory indirectly suggests is that there's not that much information in you and me compared to the volume of space-time we take up. As far as quantum field theory is concerned, you and I are mostly empty space. <laughs> and so we are not information dense, right? The density of information in us or in a book or a CD or whatever, computer RAM, is indeed uh, encoded by volume. Like there's different bits located at different points in space, but that density of information is super duper low. So we're just like the speed of light or just like the Big Bang, for the information in a black hole, we are far away in our everyday experience from the regime where these questions become relevant. So it's very far away from our intuition. We don't really know how to think about these things. We can do the math, but we don't feel it in our bones. So you can just write off that weird stuff happens uh, well, in a black hole. Well, we'd like hole. to do better, but we're trying. I mean, that's why we have an information loss puzzle, because we haven't completely solved it. So here's just one thing to keep in mind. Once space-time becomes flexible, mm -hmm. which it does according to general relativity, and you have quantum mechanics, which has fluctuations and virtual particles and things like that, the very idea of a location in space-time becomes a little bit fuzzy, right? Because it's flexible and quantum mechanics says you can't even pin it down. So information can propagate in ways that you might not have expected. And that's easy to say, and it's true, but we haven't yet come up with the right way to talk about it that is perfectly rigorous. But it's crazy how dense with information a black hole is. And then plus like quantum mechanics starts to come into play. So, you know, you almost want to romanticize the kind of interesting computation type things that are going on inside the black hole. You do, you do. But I will, I'll point out one other thing. Um, it's, information dense, but it's also very, very high entropy. So a black hole is kind of like a very, very, very specific random number, <laughs> right? It takes a lot of digits to specify it, but the digits don't tell you anything. They don't give you anything useful to work on. So it takes a lot of information, but it's not of a form that we can uh, learn a lot from. But hypothetically, I guess, as you mentioned, the information might be preserved. The information that goes into a black hole, it doesn't get destroyed. So what, what does that mean when the entropy is really high? Well, the black hole, I said that the black hole is the highest density of information, but it's not the highest amount of information because the black hole can evaporate. And when it evaporates, and people have done the equations for this, when it evaporates, the entropy that it turns into is actually higher than the entropy of the black hole was, which is good because entropy is supposed to go up. But it's much more dilute, right? It's spread across a huge volume of space-time. So in principle, all that you made the black hole out of, the information that it took, is still there, we think, in that information, but it's scattered to the four winds.